All right, let's give Tuesday's Daily Puzzle on chess.com a shot. This one's called Retreating into a Fork. It's black to move. Give the video a pause and try it yourself if you like it. Retreating into a Fork. So first instinct is to go forward. That's not really a retreat. This is something, you know. Attack the pawn and the queen. The queen is attacking two of my pawns. This one would appear to be hanging. This one's protected. If I go here, king has three different moves. I'm not actually attacking anything. This feels like it make some threats at least. I feel like it must revolve around like this this kind of pin here. Uh, taking the open file with the king on it and the queen on it as well. So if the queen just takes the pawn, retreating into a fork. I just don't... So if I, if I attack the queen with a knight, if I attack the queen with a knight, the queen can just go here, right? Alright, so can I go here and then like this or something because the bishop's pinned? If I go here, the queen has to move out of the way. It takes here, and I jump here. I don't know why that's good. If the king went here, I'd have a fork. The king doesn't have to go there. Could go here. If he goes there, I guess I can attack the bishop. Is that the point? This feels tough for a Tuesday, which makes me kind of think that I'm missing the point. I, I really like this move. It feels, it feels kind of nasty. And it feels like I must be able to win something eventually. I, I can definitely take advantage of the pin and give a check here. And that check takes away this square from the king. If the king goes here, this is a fork. But what if the king goes here? Am I missing something there? Uh, here, 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 here. I don't think I have a check. My rook will be looking at the bishop. Oh, is the queen trapped? Is that the point? Can I go here? Where's the queen going? Oh, yeah, the queen only has one safe square and it's here and then I fork it. That's the... F okay, okay. That's the point. The queen is trapped. I have to attack the queen. All right. So after I go here, this entire uh, f file is is pretty closed off. So I take a, I mean my my rook, my rook, my queen, are taking away all these squares, uh, except for this one isn't taken away, but that doesn't matter. The queen can't get there. But uh, so when I go here, the the queen could try to retreat. All these all these squares are taken away as well. Um, because my rook's here, my, my knight's protected. So the queen has to try to retreat on the, on the, on the f file, and the only safe square for it is here, but it, right after that it just gets forked. Alright, that's the point. Uh, so just attack the queen with the rook. Queen goes there, I fork it with the knight. Nice. Alright, finally got it. A little slow for a Tuesday, let's run that back one time. Cool, so, uh, it took me a second to see this one, but the queen is, is pretty off sides here. I saw that I could take this hanging pawn, but if I attack it with the rook, then I'm protecting the hanging pawn and forcing the queen to try to retreat, but my queen has, my queen rook and my rooks uh, together have a ton of squares. This rook has this square, knight's protected by this rook, so the queen's only safe square actually is here, and it's going to do that after I go here, but the point is that once it arrives on this square, it's on a square that can be forked by my knight, and I just win the queen. That's pretty chill, dude. We like winning queens. There it is. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.